All right, guys, so I'm going to do a video today on you guys that are living in apartments. Now, I know that when you're living in an apartment, you're basically trying not to get evicted while still enjoying your system. And so I'm going to try and give you guys some tips on things I know uh, that should at least help the problem. Nothing will solve it completely, but I want to give you guys some ideas and things that I know of. Uh, the first thing, which may not uh, be something you guys would think of, is you got the gain on the back of your sub. And that's essentially like a dynamic style. So the more you turn up that gain, the more dynamics you're going to get out of your sub until you reach compression, which isn't a good thing. But you don't want to get that point anyway if you're in an apartment. Um, now, this is where I would have this sub normally running in a dual sub configuration. This is a PB2000 here. And, uh, you know, this is a, a great sub. And, and for you guys in apartments, if you want to go ported, I'd probably recommend, uh, you know, PB1000. Uh, and get two of those and I'll explain more of that in a minute but essentially what you can do is you can dial this down okay and then make the adjustments uh, in your AVR subwoofer trim so let's say you adjust this down let's say you want to be really nice to your neighbors and you turn that way down like that you go into your AVR and then you'll slowly turn up uh, your AVR subwoofer trim until you get about the sound you're looking for now it's not going to be nearly as powerful as it was before, but you'll still get all of the depth. And that's kind of a hard concept for some people, but the depth will still be there. You'll still have the full sound. It just won't be as dynamic. It won't be as powerful, which is kind of what you want for your neighbors. Um, it may not be what you want for yourself, but uh, that's what, you know, keeps people from calling the cops. So, you know, this, that's one trick is, is turning the sub dial down. Now, it may be one of those things where just turning it down like that may be good enough. Uh, at least it'll make a difference and it shouldn't be as powerful when it comes to those big crushing scenes in a movie or, or music. Um, it won't stop it completely, but it should help. Okay, so that's one thing is, is turning the gain dial down a little bit. Uh, another recommendation that I can say after I've uh, tried them is that you, the PB2000 is a front firing sub. Okay, so that's these two subs here. And then that over there is the PC2000. So that is the cylinder sub. It's the same model as this, it's just in a cylinder shape. And it's down firing, whereas this is front firing. Okay, now there's gonna be some contention and some people that disagree. But what I have found personally is that the down firing sub, you'll notice I have wood floors here, uh, it tends to cause a little more rattling. And you could say, well, you know, maybe it's a different design, but it's really just about the same. And both of these subs have the isolation feet on them. I don't know if you can see them down there, but they're these little rubber feet uh, that slows or at least reduces some of the transference into the floor, which is another thing that's a great idea. Um, some sort of isolation system. Uh, SVS makes a good one. Uh, there's Subdude. I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, there's a couple other different things you can do for isolation, but that's a, another good idea. Any way you can reduce the transference into your floor is worthwhile, I think. Uh, and so, you know, avoid front firing subs, or, or I'm sorry, avoid, avoid down firing subs. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm kind of running behind on energy today. Um, but the down firing subs, at least in my experience, um, I would say would be less than ideal for apartments. So if you can get a front firing sub, I'd, I'd go with that. Um, I've been over the isolation. Uh, now the other thing you can do uh, if it's late at night or you particularly, you know, you don't want to bother your neighbors, you know, you know their home, that kind of thing. You can also turn down the subwoofer trim on your amplifier and just, just dial it down more than you usually would have it. That's another good way to do it. Um, you can also use the low frequency containment, uh, like Denon has it, Marantz has it. But honestly, I'll tell you guys right now, if you use that, it's like you might as well not even have a subwoofer. I did some graphs on it man, it just eats up your, your, your bass response dramatically. Uh, and so it's like, it's like disconnecting the sub and that's just on setting one <laughs> and it goes all the way up to setting seven. It's really, uh, it's more dramatic than I would do myself. Um, but then again, if you've got real sensitive neighbors, you know, that's another problem. But, uh, but that's one thing that, that I noticed is that, uh, that low frequency containment is just, it's just too strong. Um, and the last thing, or not the last thing, but the next thing is, uh, believe it or not, dual subs. Now, that's got to sound a little insane, 
But listen to my reasoning on this. You know, when you've got a single sub, you've got dead spots and you've got loud spots throughout the room, more so than you do if you've got a good set of matched dual subs. That knocks down the standing wave, knocks down the Swiss cheese bass, and you get more even response. Now, of course, you've got to turn the, the, the trim down to get it back to the same level you'd have with a single sub. Where you can run into problems with a single sub is that when you're adjusting the volume, let's say you're adjusting it for a particular track or a particular song that has a good amount of this particular frequency that's dead where you're listening to it, but it's still kicking out that sound absolutely. So let's say you're, you're listening to a track that's real heavy in the 52 hertz range, and that happens to be your dead spot, and that's what you adjust your system for. Well, <laughs> You may not be able to hear it, but your neighbor will, <laughs> because it's just within the room that you have the problem with the dead spot. Outside of the room, they're getting the full, full treatment, right? So in that case, dual subs can help. They can help you get a more even response, and the more you know, the better you've got your, your subs set up, uh, the easier it should be able to uh, be to keep it under control. So that's one of those things that's like, you know, yeah, dual subs will increase your output, uh, but you can obviously turn that down on the AVR. So it's really not that huge of a deal. It's more of making sure that what you're getting is also closer to what your neighbor is getting. Because if you've got dual subs and you adjust it for whatever, you know that you're hearing all of the bass. You know you're not over adjusting it. At least that should be the case. It's the case most of the time. But with a dual, with a single sub, you could be in a dead spot, you know, try and adjust your bass for that and then your neighbor's just getting an earful, okay? So it's kind of a weird thing, but that's my thoughts on duels. I would run duels in an apartment, um, absolutely. Like I said, I would do all this other stuff too, but I would run duels still. Um, but I wouldn't need as much output, and so that's why I'm saying, you know, PB-1000 uh, might be a better option than a PB-2000, that kind of thing. You don't need as much power because you're not gonna be using it, right? Um, so, and then lastly, uh, for you guys in apartments, your content. Your content is everything. I mean, you can listen to something that has no bass. That's not going to bleed through the walls so much. But if you're listening to like Dead Mouse at 2 in the morning, none of this stuff I'm saying is going to help you. <laughs> it's, that, you're still going to, you know, get a phone call and possibly have the cops show at your door. You know, it, it, you, you got to watch your content. And, you know, that, that may seem kind of, you know, duh. But, you know, it, it's really something some people don't think about, you know, they'll just be listening to something in the middle of the night and, you know, that's, that can really, uh, get you in trouble. But those are my big thoughts on, on apartments. Uh, I don't live in an apartment. Thank goodness. That's why I can have this channel. <laughs> but, uh, but for you guys that are, I, I feel your pain. Uh, and so again, you know, turning the gain down a little bit on the back of the sub limits some of that dynamics and makes it a little more tolerable, less gets transferred to your neighbor's house, even when you turn it up a little bit more in comparison uh, and from where you, if you had it, had the gain turned up. Um, you know, isolation system, don't get a down firing sub uh, if you can help it. And, you know, again, just, just basic common sense on some of the stuff, you know, um, maybe not watch San Andreas at, at three in the morning, uh, but, Basically, uh, you know, there is a way to, to have that. And also, you know, you can communicate with your neighbors and find out what they can hear. You know, for the longest time, I thought my neighbors were hearing me because, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, but, uh, you know, funny enough, they, they don't hear it. So, uh, pretty happy about that. <laughs> so, it allows me to play around a little bit more. Uh, but I shouldn't brag. This guy, this is uh, for apartment guys, so uh, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to brag. But, um but really, you know, I, I do feel your pain. I mean, you, you don't want to bother your neighbors. You don't want to run into any problems like that. But hopefully these tips will help you guys. Let me know if any of these do work or if you have any other ideas. Uh, if you guys have ideas on things that have worked for you, um, that's great because that's, you know, it, it just helps people that are watching this video. They can look down in the comments and see if anybody else has any other ideas that I didn't mention. Um, and anything that's real good, I'll go ahead and put that in the description too. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.